Help Birdfish Brewing Company and Lampost Farm pick this year's hops harvest this weekend. There's no cost to come to Hop Harvest Festival. Uh, it's a free event. People can come and just park their cars here on the farm and uh, set up a chair and listen to music if you want. You can buy the beer, you can buy the food, you can play the games. Um, yeah, it's a good day. We'll give you the details on that and more in our After Hours Report. The After Hours Report is brought to you by Live Nation. This Saturday, Lampost Farm and Birdfish Brewing Company present the fourth annual Hop Harvest Festival. We pick hops and brew beer and listen to good music and serve great food and um, just enjoy a time together. It's, a, it's an event for the community. It's free. And so we look forward to people coming and sharing the space with us. The festival takes place from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. featuring all-day hops picking. And these cones are um, the magic that gets put into the beer. Steve Montgomery is director of farm and education at Lampost Farm. It will cut the vines down and then bring them over to a tent and people get to hand pick the hops. Birdfish will use the hops harvested on Saturday to brew a special beer called Three Mile IPA. Because it's three miles from Lampost Farm to Birdfish in town. And so they'll brew that beer and that'll be ready in a few weeks and they'll have it to serve through the brewery. We thought this would be a great event. I want something we could do here at the farm that would bridge the distance between here and Birdfish. It's not a huge hop yard that we have, but it's it's a hands-on educational experience. That's what we try to do at, at Lampost is give people opportunities to get their hands on things to learn from them. That's really the heart of, of the farm and our work here. At the festival, you can also enjoy live entertainment, yard games, a disc golf tournament, and a hopscotch tournament. Be sure to check out the beer brewing demonstration by 2019 Farmageddon champions Biker Brew House from 1 to 4 p.m. We're going to have food from noon until 6. You can do pizzas in our bake oven. We'll have corn dogs made with our grass-fed beef hot dogs, hot dogs available and hot sausage sandwiches. We're going to sell birdfish beer throughout the day. There'll be a rotation of what beers are on tap. Our Lamppost Farm store will be open all day throughout the whole festival. You can find more information by visiting lamppostfarm.com, and you can find a full lineup of events on the Hops Harvest Festival 2019 Facebook page. And there's nothing like knowing your beer. Um, and the people that drew the beer and grow the ingredients for that, then coming to the Hop Harvest Festival and having your hands on all of it. Mm -hmm. um, you get to see beer being brewed, you get to pick hops right off the vine, and uh, you get to taste the end product all at the same place. Our mission at Lampost Farm is to use agriculture to reach and teach people. This event is one of those ways to do that. And so we teach people about the beauty of of good quality beer and invite them into experience awesome community and an opportunity to connect with people in the community around them. Now here's the rest of your weekend rundown. Opening this Friday, the Salem Community Theater presents Singing in the Rain. Showtimes are Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. with a Sunday matinee at 2 p.m. There will also be a second lineup of shows next weekend. To get tickets and to learn more about the show, visit SalemCommunityTheater.org. The 28th annual Briar Hill Italian Festival begins today and runs through Sunday on the north side of Youngstown. Enjoy authentic Italian food, music, and contests. Festival hours are Thursday and Friday from 4 p.m. to midnight and Saturday and Sunday from noon to midnight. For more information, call 330-501. 6060. Starting this Friday, the Youngstown Playhouse and the Youngstown Historical Center of Industry and Labor presents Father K. The special theatrical event commemorates the 100th anniversary of the Great Steel Strike of 1919. Performances will be Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. The show will continue August 23rd and 24th at 7.30 p.m. Visit youngstownplayhouse.com for reservations and more details. Check out the Lawrence County Fair from now until Saturday at the Lawrence County Fairgrounds in Newcastle. At the Agricultural Showcase, enjoy live entertainment, grandstand events, and more. Be sure to attend the fireworks show on Saturday at 9 p.m. More information can be found at lawrencecountyfair.com. It's Funk, Soul, and R&B Night this Saturday at the Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater, featuring the Ohio Players. Gates open at 6 p.m. with the show starting at 7.15. Tickets start at $10.00. Find out more by visiting the Youngstown Foundation AMP.com. For this week's After Hours Report, I'm Maggie Young.
The After Hours Report is brought to you by Live Nation.